Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video on how to take your two-way radio and hook it up to the internet using the free app called Zello. It's not that hard. You can use either a GMRS radio or a ham radio. It doesn't really matter as long as the radio has these requirements. The handheld needs to have a Vox setting in the menu and you need to turn the Vox setting on and you need to turn the sensitivity for the Vox setting all the way up. You're also going to need a radio that's got a the jacks or the so you can hook up a microphone and a speaker out. The next thing to do right away is make sure the volume on the radio is turned up halfway. If you do if you do not do this, you will spend hours and this thing won't work. Remember, this volume feeds the speaker out that goes to the computer. Turn it up halfway. If your radio is a better radio and you got a removable antenna, you can always hook up a external antenna outside. For that matter, if you really want to be uh, real fancy, you can hook up your radio to an amplifier and then hook the uh, antenna to the amplifier and have the antenna outside. In this case, this radio, the frequencies that are programmed hook to a, to a repeater that's 20 feet away. So I don't need to hook up a external antenna in this particular setup. The next important thing that you're going to need is this ground block isolator. You're going to need this, this right here. If you do not use this and you plug in your cable directly, it's going to key up the radio and it will not unkey it. So you need this. I will post a link to the description down below. As for the cables, depending on what type of radio you're going to use, most radios use a 3.5 millimeter or and or a 2.5 millimeter. Look online on your manufacturer's website under the specs and it may tell you what type of uh, plugs you need. The next thing that you may need, depending on the computer you're going to hook this up to, you may need an adapter. Some computers only have one jack that does a microphone and speakers. We need it to be separated. I need two separate jacks. So with this computer I'm using, I had to buy an adapter. It was really cheap. I'll post a link to the adapter. Some laptops do have a separate microphone in and a speaker out. If that's the case, you will not need an adapter. Now, as for laptop, you can use a laptop, you can use a desktop. It doesn't matter as long as it has those jacks. Um, and as for the laptop or desktop, it does not need to be a fancy expensive one. You can use a cheap one. Matter of fact, the one I'm using now is a really cheap laptop. The only thing that I've noticed is some laptops and desktops for that matter, the sound quality may be better than the next model or whatnot. So you'll have to test yours, hook it up and see how it sounds. Um, also too, you can use the laptop. The laptop's going to need internet connection, whether it's Wi-Fi or not, or cable. I prefer to use cable. So I have this laptop hooked up directly to the internet using a CAD5 cable, so I have a really good stable internet connection. You don't need that. You can use a Wi-Fi, but you need internet going to the computer, or this will not work. So you ask yourself, why would I need to do all this? Well, there may be times where you want someone with a smartphone to be able to talk to a person on a two-way radio or vice versa. There may be times you want someone to talk on here and a smartphone can pick it up. The app is free. It will install on smartphones, either a Apple or an Android. Does not matter. The computer software is also free, so uh, just let you know that. Now, another thing I want to point out is when you do this, you're going to need to set up a username for the computer. Keep in mind, the, the computer username, you can only sign in on one device using the same name. So if you want to test this, you're going to have to 
download the app on your phone and create a new username. If you try to sign in using the same username that you created for your laptop, it's going to sign out a laptop. So keep that in mind. This is all free. It doesn't cost anything to, to sign up again. But if you want to test this, you can do it that way. Or if you want to use it on your phone and you have your repeater set up at home or whatnot, then use create a username for the for the laptop. In this case, I create a username called GMRS underscore repeater. Now, if you do your own and you make your own channel, you can use the same type of name if you choose to. I will show you the software here in a moment. So, um, now another thing that you want to keep in mind is that you're going to need mono cable. What I mean by mono is, I'll show you here in a little bit, mono means it's not stereo. Since this ha uh, handheld only has one speaker, it's a mono type of connection. Now, you can use stereo, and it may just work. I prefer to use mono just to make sure it's not going to cause any issues. Um, I did have an adapter. I was converting a cable, and it just seemed like it didn't work for me. So I just got the right cables. Now, I will show you what a mono cable looks like, or a mono plug, I should say, in a minute. I want to do a quick demonstration of this before I start unplugging cables. So, let's show you how this works. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to talk on this, and you're going to hear it play on here. I'm wearing a headset to make this video. I'm going to take the headset off and put it next to here. I'm going to tell you this right now. I have too much feedback with everything being too close. So it's going to echo, but you'll get the point. So let's go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> Radio chat. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going to talk on this, and you'll hear it play on that. Radio check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, there's a ton of feedback due to everything being too close, but you get the point how, what the purpose of this is. Now, I'm going to show you the cable, what I mean by mono cable. Let me go ahead and turn all this off so I don't have any feedback as we, I make this video. Okay, everything's off. What I mean by mono cable is here's a, uh, one of the adapters. The one I'll be posting in the link will not look exactly like this. It'll be the wider type, which works better than this type, to be honest with you. A mono cable only has one black ring, not two. So that's the difference between a mono cable and a stereo cable. Just let you know that. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the software and how to set this up. It's real easy to do. Once you sign up on the uh, computer, you can create your own room. So what that means is, if you go to if you go to tools, you can create your own. They call it a channel. You can create your own. You can give it a name, a description, and you can password it. So people who want to connect with their phone will need a password to you to go on to the channel. You can make it private. So that's one thing you can do with this. Now the settings. Under Tools, Options, you got to turn on the voice activation on the software. There's adjustments here you have to play with. Also, too, under Speaker, there is more adjustments that you can use to adjust the sound. Now, remember, your computer itself has a main volume. When you play, you know, like you know, videos and whatnot, you, you adjust the volume. So you got to adjust that volume. Your computer also has mic volume adjustments 
but you may not need to adjust those because this software, the Zello software, has a lot of good adjustments here. But if you do need to go in your computer settings, it would be under sound settings. So just to let you know that. After you do this, you got to turn on the Vox setting. And you do that by flipping this switch. I can't leave it on because I have a, a headset on as I'm making this video. But you flip that on and you leave that on and then you're all set. So make sure this is on by doing this. So just make sure you do that. And the reason why I can't leave it on, like I said, I have a headset on making this video and the software is set to Vox setting. So it automatically keys up the software as you saw. So that's why I got to turn it off. So, that is the two main things that you need to do. I'll post the links to the uh, ground isolator and the link below and the adapter. That, that, like I said, the adapter I'll post is actually going to be a, a cable type, not a, not a hard one like this. So, I'll post that link if you need it. Like I said, some laptops don't need it because you'll have a separate microphone and a separate uh, speaker jack. And you can use a desktop too for that matter. So, um, hopefully I've explained everything. Make sure you got the Vox setting turned on in the radio. Make sure you have the Vox sensitivity all the way up. And there's also a timeout uh, in the menu. If you key up this radio and you, and you hold it keyed up, it will time out. You can turn that on and off. I turn it off, so I don't got to worry about it cutting off. So, that's what I do on the, on the settings on the, on the handheld. So... Hopefully, this will help explain everything. I'll post the links down below. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Thank you, and have a good day.